right on. They are ready to rock the house, and some of the riders are not in the finals, and you can see why. Taking dirt samples, the boys that have made it, Rabo is in, Mason is in, McNeil is in. Adam Jones is back. He has a bronze already in this sport. Travis Pastrana, your number one qualifier. The Freestyle Moto X final coming right at ya. It's party time, Moto X style. Travis Pastrana going for gold number three at Summer X Games 12, while the other four finalists try to check Travis to the boards in Freestyle Moto X. That's a little bit of hockey terminology for you. They really can't run into each other, but hey, it would be fun if they could do it. There are no rules, it's Freestyle Motocross. Big crowds here at the Home Depot Center. Cameron Steele along with Tess Sewell and Jamie Little and Tess. I am ready for a shakedown in the house. Can they beat Travis Pastrana? That is the question. It's gonna be an unbelievable event. The biggest surprise yesterday was that Matt Rabot had such a tough time on the course. Rabot is the giant killer in this field. He already has silver medals in Best Trick. But the question is, can he take down Travis Pastrana with the skills he has? Well, he comes in as the fifth qualifier. 90 seconds starts when they get to the bottom of the drop-in ramp, starting it off with a trick. For those of you at home, there are five judges watching. They will score what they see here in the 90 seconds. They want to do something different off every jump. You will see multiple backflips, but that is okay as long as there are different variations. One thing I can note out already about Matt Rabot, all the way from Switzerland, he's landing long on all of his jumps. Well, if you look back to yesterday, there are two 75-foot ramps in a row. We call it a double-double. The problem was on the approach to the first 75-foot ramp. Oh! 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 And Rabot is down. We did not see him go for that in his preliminary run, and that's one thing we were getting ready to say. Coming in fifth place, ladies and gentlemen, what you just saw obviously was a crash on a, on a ramp jump. I mean, these are things that happen. You can see Matt moving around, but what you saw was called an underflip. Take us through what an underflip is, Tess. When you go for the underflip, instead of a regular backflip, which you go along the same plane, you just go backwards on your bike and you try and come around and land it. The underflip, you're turning the bike sideways as you're in the flip. And when we saw it in Best Trick, the bike was perpendicular to the ramp when he took off. It was an absolutely textbook underflip. Here, we don't exactly know what happened. Looked like he was going for the same trick, but it seemed to come too far over when he came onto the landing. He was sideways. They're gonna help him up now. Remember, Matt Rabot, he's up. And they're cheering for him. He salutes the crowd. Remember, Matt Rabot jumped off on the 115-foot jump. What happened here? Watch the underflip. He tucks under. There's the underflip going to the knack-knack. Looks like he starts to separate from the bike and he's nose high and he just bull whips him down at the end. When you land it nose high, when the front wheel comes slamming down, all your momentum is stopped by that back tire hitting, it's hard to control it. That was a wild trick, but so nose high when he came down to the landing. Almost hanging on to it too. There was a chance he was gonna ride that one out, but as soon as the bars became a little twisted, no chance. And accentuated on the landing by coming up about half a foot short, landing on the deck, which slams you that much harder from the Exmo. You can see he wedges. Here he comes over the bars, and this is where it starts to hurt. You're basically high siding off the motorcycle. When the head makes contact, it is no fun. And we saw big contact yesterday when we saw Ronnie Feist and Nate Adams both going down big, as well as Ilo Galp. Not one of them able to come back and battle for the finals. And one good thing about this is he gets tackled a bit by the motorcycle, but he doesn't take the brunt of it. That's a 230-pound machine. Lots of times when you crash with freestyle motocross, you take a whipping from your motorcycle. And right there, Matt Rabot getting help off the course. The